Modern Guitars has released a new signature model with Sean Mendez in the Triple O Junior body shape with some new and unique appointments to it. We're going to tell you all about it, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store linked below in the description for custom swag and check out our new podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So today we are looking at a signature model from Martin, from Sean Mendez. Yeah. It's a small guitar. Strangest thing about it is this is not the first Sean Mendez signature that has been reviewed on this channel. That's right. We had the Fender one that was, was that a music, Mustang? Music Master. Music Master. And I said in that video, um, if you don't know who Sean Mendez is, ask your great granddaughter. Because <laughs> she knows for sure. For sure. Or ask someone who, who used to watch Vine. Remember Vine? I think Vine was better than TikTok. That's my hot take for today. So, uh, Everything's better than TikTok, <laughs> no matter how much I enjoy it. I so still hate it. Sean Mendez has had uh, quite a music career, uh, and that's where he got his start, you know, being on the internet. Yeah. It's the new... Uh, Same here. Well, true, true. Although I, I don't have a signature model officially from a guitar company yet. Come on, guitar companies. Cooper and I need our own signature models. That's you true. Know? Rick yeah. Beato got one. I mean, yeah, what the heck? Where's on. the love? Uh, but anyways, let's talk about what they've done for Sean. So Sean Mendez's guitar, it's part of their kind of junior line. So they've had the Dreadnought Junior and then they came out with the Triple O Junior. Mark describes it as a scaled down auditorium body shape. And it's very much along the lines of what we've seen from the specs of that. So we've got all solid wood construction, spruce, sapele, sapele and sipo for the neck. Which is like Mahogany, it's which is like similar. mahogany. Yeah, yeah. So Pele is a lot like mahogany, um, and then you've got ebony fingerboard and bridge, which I really like. Instead of rosewood or something like that, although rosewood's cool. Um, and then you've got some special touches on here. Now, some of them are actually none of them are really that obvious. You really have to look at the guitar to yeah. kind of see it. So we've got this beautiful slotted uh, uh, snowflake like, inlay. Yeah, it's like a diamond kind of deal, but yeah. Very subtle, his uh, signature on the third fret there. It's a cool placement for it. Yeah. Usually you see around the 12th fret or something, and it's very, very subtle. Nothing on the headstock that would, you nice know. Nice gold logo on there, though. It's a gold foil logo. Um, you've got a perloid rosette with a tinted top, which is nice on these. I think it gives a cool aesthetic to it. And then on the bridge, you probably can't even see this very well, uh, on the camera until we do the close-ups, but it's got two swallows that are carved into the ebony bridge, which come from tattoos that he has that has some special significance to him. Oh, yeah. And then you found something inside the guitar. Yeah, interestingly enough, when you're jamming to your favorite Shawn Mendes tunes and you're looking down the sound hole, um, it says, the universe is ours. The universe is mine. Yeah, how Thanks sweet. for recognizing. Yeah. Um, which, you know, that's, that's cool. You got a Fishman pickup in here as well. So, mm -hmm. ready to go to uh, play a show. Oh, and you should grab the gig bag real quick. Oh, yeah. Here. Because the gig bag is also unique to the guitar. So that, you know, as you walk around with it in there, people can see that uh, it's a little special. It's a nice blue. Sorry about that. Made out of recycled plastic bottles. Really? That's true. And it goes along with the sustainability aspect of the guitar. That's what this is. It, uh, it's not the price tag. It actually talks about that this, this is an FSC certified. So it's uh, basically responsible forestry practices in sourcing the wood for this guitar from the Sipo neck, the Sapele back sides, and the spruce top. And then, that's cool. Recycled that's bag. Yeah. a recycled bottle. It feels almost bag. more robust than any old normal gig bag. Um, I think it's a nice touch. Everybody when I was walking up from the warehouse with this guitar was like, cool gig bag. Yeah, it's a nice, it's nice looking royal gig bag. Blue. And overall it's a nice guitar, um, ready to go. You know, you can plug in. Um, I always find it interesting how Martin does it. So it's Fishman Sonotone pickup. You've got the, the plug at the bottom and then you've got no end pin because it's in the bag. It's just yeah. a friction end pin that Martin loves to do. But they did on this install which you don't always see um, a strap button on the neck uh, heel as well. So you can go on stage with this or your coffee shop. It's plug-in ready to go. And it's a nice small body. We yeah. should talk about just 
Triple O Junior guitars. Yeah. Is kind of Martin's answer to the GS Mini. Mm -hmm. There are some things I like about it more than the GS Mini, namely the nuts one three quarter inch. Yep. Shorter scale, feels great, doesn't feel too slinky, it's got a nice sound to it, and it's got that Martin tone to it. Yeah. I think it's cool they did all solid wood on it. I mean, I totally understand why a GS Mini would not be, um, but I do like the Juniors. The Dreadnought, the first time I played a Dreadnought Junior, I was blown away with the sound. And, uh, you know, they previously did an Ed Sheeran signature model, not all solid wood. So, yeah. you know, Sean's got something on Ed <laughs> now. There you go. But I guess Ed's not playing Martins anymore. No, so. no, he's not. Um, and now his music's poppy. Maybe there's a correlation there. Oh. Anyways, I digress. Uh, we're here about Sean. So this is a very cool guitar. It's nice and comfortable. I like the understated touches. Yeah. Um, some signature models can kind of go like all over the top of like, this is my guitar. Um, I really like this. I like the carvings in the, I really actually like that. The carvings cool. in the bridge are really nice. So very cool. We're going to put it through its paces so you can hear what it sounds like acoustically. So check it out. So there you have it. The new Martin Sean Mendes signature model guitar is currently available. It is $7.99. Uh, current price, of course, that's subject to change. Check our website at alamomusic.com. You can also purchase it there as well. Um, and you know, I think they're going to be fairly consistent, but for the ones we have in stock, if you'd like to see photos or anything, you can ask on our website as well. You can chat live with an associate and they can help you sort that out. And also, if you're like, do I get the Sean Mendes? 
or you know, is a Taylor Swift baby Taylor more my speed? You know, we can help you figure that one out too. It's a tough choice. Um, I'm just Josh now, sorry. <laughs> so I will say a couple things. I think it's interesting they did a aging toner on the top. Mm -hmm. Only really see that in standard series guitars. Everything from the juniors, usually either sunburst or it's just like a totally unstained top. Makes it kind of look more akin to a like a triple O eighteen or something, which is cool. It, it does. I, you know, honestly, I like the inlay and I like the carvings on the bridge, regardless of whose signature model it is. Yeah. And given the price of it, I think it's a good value um, if you're wanting a smaller guitar like this. I will also say that I went to the Martin factory last week, and they were like, "You can't take any videos in the factory if it's a guitar that has not been announced yet." And that day, they announced the Shawn Mendes, and they still wouldn't let me take photos of it. Well, we've got photos and video of it now. Yeah. So whatever. So there you go. Did you have a good time? It was fantastic. I uh, we picked up a couple cool things that I'm going to tell you about in an upcoming video. So that's why you got to subscribe and turn notifications on because I had the time of my life. Anything you learned about Martin that you didn't know before? Um, that's a that's a good one to ponder on. I'll answer that in the next video. Mostly that uh, they're insane craftsmen. I knew that, but then actually seeing it happen was pretty wild. Also, um, a lot of those guys are from Long Island and they got the accents to prove it. Did yes, not know that. But I'll give more of my tidbits forthcoming. One of my favorite things when I visited the factory was meeting uh, the Cowboy fan in the slew of Steelers fans and Eagles fans that are up there. Oh yeah. And so unabashed, so unashamed, wearing Cowboy everything yeah. to work, uh, that was fun to see. But yeah, I'm glad you got to go, it's great. You know, Martin is one of those classic uh, American companies that, you know, family owned and has been in business all these generations, cranking out all of these beautiful instruments for musicians. Uh, it's, it's really a, a great story, yeah. and I'm glad that uh, here in 2022, we've, that's a testament, okay? A company yeah. that started in the 1800s is making a signature model for a musician that was discovered on the internet. Just ponder that. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So if you want more information about this guitar, alamomusic.com is where you want to go. Find out all the information and get one for yourself. Remember, at the end of the day, I always say the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing, whether it's someone's name on it or it's your name on it someday. So keep playing and uh, come back and see us. Subscribe, turn on notifications, like, and keep coming back for more. See ya. Mm -hmm.